Welcome everyone to the class of 2021 graduation ceremony. 
have access to the program for the ceremony, go to witgo.org slash graduation on your phone. My name is Jonathan Baker, and I am the assistant principal here at Whitco. I have been asked to make this a short welcome, and will do my very best to oblige. However, I believe in giving credit where credit is due. Therefore, I would like to take a brief moment to draw attention to the tenacity and the perseverance of this class of Whitco as a whole. Seniors, this year you have demonstrated that no matter what obstacles are put in front of you, no matter what changes or challenges are placed before you, you can overcome them. Like keeping up with your AP and dual credit classes, even though you're quarantined for two weeks at a time. This school year is literally like none other, and I am proud of all of you here today. Now it is my honor to introduce the Whitcote class of 2021's valedictorian Luke Rhodes and salutatorian Abigail Arden. Again, I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say thank you. Thank you not only for joining us today, this evening, as we celebrate this momentous occasion, but also for all the little moments over the past 13 years when you not only celebrated our wins, but stood by us in our losses. Thank you to our parents. Thank you to our teachers, our administration, and our coaches. Thank you to anyone and everyone that took the time to guide and mentor us. Thank you to those who have always had our best and graciously given so much of themselves to assist us in succeeding. Those who have inspired in us the drive and determination to never quit. Phil Silverstein once said, There are no happy endings. Endings are the saddest part. So just give me a happy middle and a very happy start. In the fall of 2008, a slightly timid, brown haired little girl slowly approached the front door of Pierce Elementary. Her mom looked teary eyed as she watched her daughter disappear into the halls of the school and begin her. experience unlike anything I had ever faced before. Climbing into a smelly bus, getting hauled off to a huge building out of town, such events were foreign to me. And having a class schedule, multiple teachers, lockers, classes with people I've never met, 
I was so terrified that I cried. But as frightened as I was, I was not alone. I had all of you. We took this big step together, and together we adjusted to this new reality. I ended up loving middle school, and many of my fondest memories came from there. As for those of you from Pearson Orange, you may have seemed like strangers at first, but you were really just friends in the making. Together, the Cubs and the Bulldogs became the class of 2021. Fast forward to today. After 4,560 hours in high school, we have finished our time and are walking away with the memories and learning experiences that will lead us through the rest of our lives. Through the past 13 years, we have experienced so much together. We have shared many of the same memories. From homecomings to basketball games to Jared days, we have all gone through the wins and losses of high school together. As we come to the end of our journey in high school, many of us are wondering where we will go next with our lives. Some of you may have a clear path of what you want to do, while others are hoping that the path becomes clearer along the way. Theoretically speaking, we are back to where we started 13 years ago, just like when we stood outside the doors of the elementary school on the first day of kindergarten. Excited and anxious, standing in front of the big, wide-open door to the future with nothing but possibility before us, filled with both wonderment and fear. Each of us are setting out on our own path for the first time since the fall of 2008. Nelson Mandela once said, I never lose. I either win or learn. Life is full of trials and tribulations. There are going to be tough times, less than pleasant times. There will be times that you will fail. You will make mistakes. You will occasionally make a poor decision. You, possibly, you may possibly fail miserably. My challenge to each of you today is that you not let these moments define you. That you learn from your mistakes, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going. That you maintain a fighting spirit and a winning mentality. That you never quit. In the words of famed Notre Dame football coach Lou Holtz, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. Class of 2021, we are the future and our future is bright. We may not have the power to change the entire world, but we have the power to change our world power to continually strive for success and to reach our full potential. If each of the 90 students in this graduating class consciously makes the decision to focus not on what happens to us in life, but rather focus on how we respond to what happens to us, imagine the difference we can make. The future is truly in our hands, so let's make the most of it. And may God bless you all as you enter the next chapter of your life. Thank you. Jake Everett, principal of Whitco Junior Senior High School. I'd like to present for the class of 2021. To the parents, family members, mentors, and friends of our graduates, thank you for being here tonight to support the class of 2021. Mr. Steve Darnell, interim superintendent, and members of the school board, thank you for your support and leadership for our school. Mr. Van Patten, and Ms. Henthorne, thank you for preparing tonight's ceremony and your dedication to our graduating class. To the faculty and staff of Waco Junior Senior High School, thank you for the part you have played 
and the success of the students seated before us. Your unwavering support of these young men and women as truly inspiring and moving to me. To the class of 2021, thank you for making WITCO a better place and leaving a positive impact on the, on the returning student body. I believe things happen in our lives for a reason, and I believe there is an order to our lives that we do not fully understand or control. I also believe we are never given more than what we can handle or what we are capable of. You've been handed so many challenges during your final year of high school, from your junior year being cut short, to a return to school in what some call the new normal, mass social distancing, contact tracing, and many other burdens that no graduating class has ever had to experience. As you prepare to take your final steps before leaving this school and family, I want you to take a second and reflect back upon all you have had to overcome to get to this moment. Everything you have had to persevere through has always been just enough for you to handle. The difficult class or classes you had to take, you handled it. The drama of junior high, you handled it. The requirements of taking a graduating test or completing a graduation pathway, you handled it. The project or assignment you didn't want to do, and waited until the very last minute to complete it, you handled it. Sticking out for yourself or your friends to show kindness to those around you, you handled it. Working a job to help support yourself and possibly your family while being a high school student, you handled it. When you felt like you couldn't make it to the finish line, you were convinced otherwise. I'm so proud of you and everything you have handled. And I believe you've been given this challenge for a reason. And I believe you will have a positive impact on our world. Our world needs more people like you. It needs more carpenters, and craftsmen, teachers, and biologists, musicians, and nurses, law enforcement officers, and farmers, and people like you who persevere through trials and tribulations and can handle it. The challenges you have faced during high school will not be the final difficulties you will face in life. There will be many more challenges to come. But remember, you will never be given more than what you can handle. There will never be an obstacle you cannot overcome. You have shown everyone here what you are capable of. And we are all very proud of you. You can handle it. To the Winko community, be proud of the young men and women seated here today. Be proud of the opportunities they have set before them and the work they have completed to be here. Our students have some of the best teachers leading them in our classrooms, and we will continue to make a difference in their lives. And finally, class of 2021, be proud of what you accomplished. Be proud of what you have handled. Be confident in your own abilities and show this world what you're capable of. My hope for you is to be sure of yourself and sure of your impact on this world. You can handle anything that comes your way. You are important and you matter. God bless you all and I wish you all the best of luck. I love you guys. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our graduates are ready to receive their diplomas. Please remember the importance of this occasion to all and be respectful with your applause. We do not want anyone to cross in front of the stage without their name being heard. We value our graduates and appreciate your assistance with this. We are now ready to read the names and present the diplomas to the graduating class of 2021. Luke 
Joseph Rose.
Nikolai C. Johnson. Elizabeth 
is Xander Stevens. Jonathan James Strayer. Brooke Michelle Strode. Caleb Lee Stroma. Jay Brent Studebaker. in me by the Whitco Community School Corporation, Board of Education, and the state of Indiana as the school superintendent, I pronounce you graduates of Whitco Junior Senior High School. You may turn your back.